Okay, hey everybody, what is going on? It is Paul here from Time Productions, and I'm bringing you a Let's Play slash walkthrough on Spyro the Dragon. So this is going to be pretty awesome, and it's just started this little demo scene clip, so I need to quickly exit this when it loads. Oh, wait there, is it? Yeah, it is. Entering demo mode, so we need to quickly exit this. Um, luckily, it came up at this point, but pretty much, guys, um, for you guys who watch me, usually, um, then sadly, I... Have had to buy this on the PS3. It's still awesome because I'm recording through the PS3 now, um, which is very good because I've never recorded through it before, so now I know how to record games on a PS3. Something that I've learned today. And um, it wouldn't let me record my PS2 or my PS1 or anything like that with the Elgato, so I just purchased it on this. But anyway. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. <laughs> We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly! That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Okay, so guys, that's the introduction to the game, and as you've seen there, that is Spyro, if you guys have never seen it before. This game, I used to play it so much when I was younger, and it's just an absolutely fantastic game. I absolutely love it, so um, here we go. I'm, I'm not completely sure on the controls. I'll just see how it goes, but I'm going to go ahead and collect some gems, um, just so we have some gems. And as you can see, when you press select, um, it shows how many you've got. So I've got two out of 100 there in this area and four, zero out of four dragons. So we need to release all the dragons in this game and in every single area to fully complete it, which I would like to do. So I'm going to collect all the gems in all the areas um, and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and try and get all these. So um, this game is absolutely fantastic. If you've never played it, then I'm really surprised. You really should try and get it. Um, it's just such a fun game. Uh, we've got an extra life. Um, there's another world there. There's so many worlds in this game. Um, my favourite one is definitely the third one, Year of the Dragon. And that was the last one made by Insomniac, which actually developed the three of these games. Um, well, which actually started off the Spyro series. And to be honest, since Insomniac stopped making them and then they gave the rights to somebody else i'm not exactly sure uh oh wait uh, if you prove your worth by rescue okay um okay let's go ahead and just find more gems anyway um since then it's kind of gone downhill except for skylanders which is an absolutely fantastic game skylanders but all of the other spyro like games into the series have just not gone that well i've not even thought it felt at all like spyro except for spyro the eternal night which was actually a pretty good game in my opinion but um other than that all the other spyro games didn't exactly feel like spyro games so uh, that's kind of that um let's go ahead and do this and also guys this was actually i was wanting to do this for a while and then somebody commented on the video sorry for not knowing your name and said you should really do a let's play on Spyro game, so here it is. <laughs> cool flash, do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Okay, so as you've seen there, that's the sort of sequences that you get when you find a dragon. So we'll we need to find all the other dragons and kill this. I'm not even sure what he is, actually, really. It's just hilarious how they run around. So, um, there's the second one, so we'll just go ahead and get this one as well. Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Sparks is absolutely fantastic, if you guys don't know. Just a little spark flying around sort of thing. Uh, we just need to chase this guy for all of the gems that he drops. Is that the last one? Yeah, sweet. 
three gems there. Uh, let's go ahead and get these ones up here. And then we'll go ahead and kill all these... I'm not even... I'm really not sure what they're called. Like, I'll call them goblin things. Um, I'll, I'll really need to check that out, actually. That's <laughs> quite shameful. Um, so with that, let's go and get these two guys over here. Where, the, where did they go? This way? Where, the, where did they go? Oh, there they are. Hello. Oh, wow. I missed. There we go. And is that it? Okay. So, where's the other one gone? I need to find the other one now. Ah, that's an, also another lovely little thing. When you hit the sheep or kill the sheep, they turn into butterflies. They're great. Oh, here's the last one. And bam. Okay. Now, when we go through this doorway, we will get another dragon, won't we? Um, with that, how many dragons have I released? Well, we'll see now. Thomas. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Okay, so that's three dragons we've got. We need to find one more. I've actually forgotten where it is. Um, I'm not actually sure where it is. I'll have to go back on myself here. Um, let's go ahead and go around here and find all these ones. I still remember so much of this. It's just... Absolutely fantastic. Okay, but you. Let's get you again. Oh wow. Misleading. Nope, there we go. And turn around. I'm not used to this having to change the camera all the time. It's really difficult. And also, guys, something that you guys may not know, or some of you Spire fans may not know, um, is that when you go up those little things there that lift you to the next level, the cut. Well, lifts, kind of. Um, in Tyra. Spyro's world. Um, let's go down. There we go. Uh, <laughs> it actually renders the world, so when you go up here and then you can see further out into the world, that's just giving the game more time to render the world. So it's pretty awesome. It's, it's pretty awesome how it does that, and it's really nice. I actually really think that's a really good way to load the level rather than just like going up something basic. And there we go. We've got 100 out of 100 gems. Now, where is the last dragon? I know, actually. I know this way like so and it's up here it was the first one that we were right in front of I can't believe I forgot about it all that time I just didn't want to get him at the beginning so there we go like so Nesta thank you for releasing me spider free ten dragons in the artisan world then find the balloonist he'll transport you to the next world what about nasty Newark? I'm going after him Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so that was the fourth dragon got, and we've completely found everything in this world to find. So there isn't much else to do in this world, obviously. There's just the few pores we can go through. We can go through this one in here and there. That one there that is the most appealing one to me, Stone Hill, which I think would be a nice place to go off to, actually. Should we head off there, or should we go this way? Hmm, let's, let's see, um, should we go this way, the town centre? Um, it's a it's hard decision really, I, I want to go from the furthest away, I'll go from this side, start from over here, and then I'll make my way across. So let's go ahead and go through here, and go into Dark Hollow, so we'll, we'll go through here. And look at that loading sequence, it's just so awesome, all the treasure we have found in that. Stage, there we go, 100 total treasure. Very, very nice. And we're in. Fantastic. Okay, so anyway guys, I'm gonna end this part here. Sorry for this very short part. I'm gonna do each world as one part, so that'll be pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to drop it a like, and also give me some recommendations, or give me some something from your past if you guys ever used to play Spyro. That would be really awesome. And anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Once again for me, Paul, peace.